J drone here. This is the FY603 from iDrones. And as you can see, it's an in body cam drone, a favor in body cams. Uh, it also has this cool cage around it for indoor flights, banging against anything. Uh, it's not going to come falling out of there. And if it does, there's a very good possibility you're going to be able to take off. Again, we're going to pop this open, show you what's inside it. This is the inside, guys. It did have one of these inserts over top of it. I like this a lot. As you can see, you can shake it around. So this is going to be mobile. If this turns out to be awesome, it's going to be mobile because of the case they provide. A lot of times you got to pay for cases like this that are kind of fitting for the drone, the controller, um, all your components. This one's already molded out. So that's awesome. You have your controller. You have your battery, you have your drone, you have a screwdriver, you have your cage around it. Um, I'm not sure what that is. That's probably your charger. You have extra propeller blades. And probably in here, yep, that's probably going to be your uh, phone mount. This is Wi-Fi FPV. One key takeoff, one key land. Um, you can also control it with out that and just the app if you'd like to. So we're going to take all this out, show you what it looks like, and then give you general setup. Okay, guys, this is what you get. There is a battery already installed there. So you're getting two batteries. You got your roll cage. Uh, I'm going to call that a roll cage. Um, you also have your cell phone mount. And we have extra propellers. We have our controller. We have our battery charger, screwdriver. And we also have instruction manuals. Uh, from what I could tell, they're very detailed, but all intents and purposes, I'm your instruction manual. So the first thing that you are going to want to do is take this, that slidey piece on top, all you're going to do is slide that forward. You're going to put that over there. This piece is going to slide right into there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this on camera. Let's see here. Let's prop that up right there. And we're just going to push that right in there. Come on. Bam. And that's going to go right in there. And that's how that's going to hold. Um, you're going to need three AAA batteries for this. I did test this. It does seem to have power. So we're going to do an RTF flight. Has power. Has a little toggle. Toggle switches are cool. A lot of these smaller drones don't have toggle switches. and kind of just connect them and they're ready to go. Um, these, let's see if we can throw these on for you with one hand here. You're going to cross. So we're going to take one, it'll come off, and we're going to go here, and they kind of click, here, click, and then we're going to do the same thing with this one. They go across from one another, so we're going to go here, click, here, click, and there you go. And that's your cage. Actually, I put the cage on upside down. <laughs> so uh let's try that again hold on all right guys so you actually want it sitting just like that so these are the legs essentially these little nubs they're going to be the legs so you're going to have to come underneath it click it so we're going to go underneath click and it's going to come over the propellers and do the same thing over here and come on click there that's one. So it's kind of leaning lopsided because we don't have the other one on there. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to click. And we're going to bring this up and around to this side. And just push that on there. And get that to click in place. And there we go. Now it'll stand properly. Just to show you guys, there is a little nub right there, and there is, let's put this over top of the white paper, you'll be able to see it. Um, no, you can't see it too well, but right here, there you can see it, there's a hole there. That nub is going to go in that hole, and that'll offer more support. So just quite simply put that over there, and then push down, there you go. And it's attached. Very simple to do. I just did it with one hand. You're going to have two hands. It'll be really simple. And again, these instructions are very well printed, but just to go over controls with you, your top bumper is for video and pictures. 
left joystick obviously altitude up and down and then yaw left to right you have your headless mode on the top of the T you have your one button start on the left you have your takeoff and landing button to the right you have your speed here your roll which would be your flips and your barrel rolls and your joystick which will pitch the drone left to right forward and backwards you have forward and backward fine tuning on the top and the bottom of the T you have left and right fine tuning on the left and the right of the T these instructions are very well printed but uh just wanted to go over them with you all right check it out drones on so we're gonna connect via the controller so we're gonna turn our controller on lights are blinking we're gonna throttle up and down lights are steady now up and down won't do anything you need to press this left T press the left T BAM! Press it again, shut it down. So if you press the left T and then the right T, it'll do an auto takeoff. 